What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the UT Vol Dynasty. This week we're playing Vanderbilt. Uh, they are three and seven on the three and seven. Three. I don't know why I said it so weird. They're three and seven on the year, uh, and hopefully, I mean last last time Vanderbilt was kind of hard. So hopefully this time they're, you know, not as hard because we're not as good of a team. So. We'll see what happens. We'll jump right into it. You know, I was just thinking about it, and this might be our last home game of the year, so this is, might also be senior night. Because uh, the only other regular season game we have is uh, Kentucky, and we played them at home last year, so we should be playing them at Kentucky. As Jalen Hyatt takes one back to the house as I talk the whole time. 104-yard touchdown to uh, start the game off. Yeah, we'll we'll take that. I just looked it up. Valus Jones Jr. is the only uh, senior that is a skill position. Uh, we have a few on the line, but this is a very young team. So pretty much just Valus Jones Jr. is the only senior we're going to be celebrating tonight. We're going to try a triple option here. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. <laughs> All right. Harrison Bailey, six-yard touchdown run, and we go up uh, by two touchdowns on Vanderbilt early. All right, we just returned another kickoff for a touchdown. So Jalen Hyatt has two in the game. He's feeling it right now. Oh, get out. Ah, I thought I could beat him around the corner. Why would we go? Why did they make me go for two? I don't. <laughs> I just don't understand. All right, so now it's fourteen to twenty, and it was Alante Taylor that got the uh, other kick kickoff return. So I didn't want to give credit where credit is not due. Bella Jones Jr. Eleven yard reception. All right, a lot of scoring here early. Is uh, it's twenty to fourteen at the end of the first quarter. That's pretty crazy. All right, third and two. Definitely gonna be looking for Keaton here, probably. Uh, maybe back up though. It kind of see how it plays out. There you go. We got Keaton across the middle. He got killed, but he held on to it. That's uh, gonna move the chains. Oh, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Bayless Jones Jr. Touchdown on senior night. It's always important. Gotta get, gotta get the seniors their roses. All right, third and five. We haven't missed a third down conversion yet. I don't plan on starting now. Definitely gonna be looking Keaton Tillman that whole area. Ah, I just have a lot of time there. All right, well that's gonna be a, uh, a fourth down and a punt. Randy gets a very long drive uh, and score a touchdown. And uh, we're going to get the ball right before the end of the half here. Oh, shit. Get that out of there. They're, they're starting to blitz a lot more. All right, so at halftime, we're up six points on Vanderbilt. And it's a lot of scoring. A, a bit of a shootout going on here in Knoxville. All right, third and five coming out of the half here. Definitely, uh, I'm not liking the way that this game is going for, as far as the shootout goes. We would like to uh, just kind of demolish Fandy, but their offense is proving pretty good. And we convert there to Ramel Keaton for eight yards. All right, third and four. Uh, we might not. Yeah. Ah. I thought Hyatt lost him, and then that linebacker recovered really well. Right, we are going to go for it on fourth down. Probably just looking to drop it off to one of these guys. I'm going to keep Whitehead in. Help me block. All right, our defense just can't stop Vanderbilt for whatever reason. Our defense hasn't been great this year, so I guess that's not super surprising. Let's 
pretty much the uh, only good thing that's been going on is T. Hodge has been running all over him. All right, 39. Uh, actually, I don't want to do four verts. Let's do. Yeah, I like this play. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna go for it. Right back to him. Now it's gonna be a first down, and uh, looks like we're in the red zone. There we go, touchdown catch for Jalen Hyatt, and uh, we go up by five right now. Six after the extra point. And we're gonna go for it. And uh, hopefully we get it. <laughs> hopefully we make it this time. Oh, uh, get out of my way, Leonard Whitehead! Get the fuck out of the way! God damn it! All right, third and seven, boys. Make it count. Should have Keaton. We do. A little stiff arm. It's gonna give us some extra yards. Twenty-yard reception. I know Keaton's having a pretty good day. All right, third and seven. Uh, we are going to pass it here. If we don't get it, we can still probably get a field goal, though. But we're going to get it. We threw it to Ramel Keaton. 11-yard reception. Fellas Jones Jr. across the middle. Almost getting it in the end zone. Stopped about the three-yard line. There we go, touchdown. Lenneth Whitehead, two-yard run. And, uh, that might be the uh, the nail in Vandy's coffin there. That's the end of the game. All right, Vandy did score a garbage time touchdown, but it was enough to get the win for us. Uh, the play of the game is Jalen Hyatt's kickoff return, the very first play of the game. And uh, we beat Vandy, I think it was 43-34. to 34. So, Good game all around, and... Go ahead and send off the seniors. All right, so before we uh, jump into the next game against Kentucky, I thought I'd show you guys some recruits that we just got. Uh, we got Brian Wilkerson. He's the number 11 running back out of Lincoln Park, Michigan. And uh, he's a 75 overall. And then we also got Arthur Robinson, a uh, four-star safety, number two in the nation. He is a 78 overall. We got Tyrell Schroeder. A 81 overall. He is the number 11 cornerback out of Palo Alto, California. We got Wesley Reed. He's the number 11 defensive end out of West Springfield, Virginia. 68 overall. We got a bunch this week, by the way. Uh, Luke Evans. He's the number one athlete out of Buell. I think it's pronounced actually Bull. Bull, Idaho. Uh, he's an 81 overall. And then I think Carlos Thompson was the other one. Or, and we also got Lorenzo Gonzalez. Okay, so we got these two. Carlos Thompson, he's the number 11 athlete or uh, wide receiver at a Tuckahoe. <laughs> Tuckahoe, Virginia. 78 overall. And Lorenzo Gonzalez, he's the number four cornerback at a Hugo, Oklahoma. 78 overall. And a few of these guys, are, it's just a matter of time. Like Andrew Fortnot, Fontenot, he's a uh, 40, number 41 athlete at Lusk, Wyoming. We got Tyler McBride, he's a number 38 athlete at Juneau, Alaska. Uh, we got Ross Cowan, Forest, Mississippi. Like, all these guys are going to, well, maybe not these guys. These guys are kind of up in the air, but we'll see what happens. Here we go as we go up against a 6-5 Kentucky. Uh, we are ranked number 20 now in the nation, so we're re-ranked again. That's always good. Uh, Kentucky is not ranked. And... I haven't... Well, they beat Georgia. That's really their... Their big one. And uh, I guess since we're 
towards the end of the season, even though we're not in the uh, running, we should probably look at the college football playoff. And basically what it's going to come down to is the winner of the SEC. Uh, uh, let me see. Conference standing. All right, so... Unless, unless something major happens, I think it's going to be Florida. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be Florida in the east versus probably Auburn. Unless they lose this week. Who are they playing? Bama. All right, so it's possible that if Bama beats Auburn this week, Bama's probably in the SEC championship I think, right? Maybe I'm wrong on that. But either way, it's going to be Auburn or Bama versus Florida. So whoever wins that is going to be in the um, college football playoff. And possibly another one, too. I mean, it's not. it wouldn't be outrageous to think that two SEC teams get in. All right, so we are going to receive first here against Kentucky. I must have accidentally hit the controller. I was waiting for Jalen Hyde to come come in and receive that, but it didn't happen. No way to reach the SEC championship or the college playoff. And I couldn't draw back there because my running back wouldn't let me. Appreciate that. Be back with the cross the middle for a 13-yard reception. Going to give us a first down. All right, third and five here. Hold on to that deep backwood. There we go, buddy. Ten yard reception. And uh, moving the chains again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, no blocking. I like to see it. Uh, don't celebrate too early, Kentucky. We're going for it. Oh, what? Picked off by the defensive tackle. Didn't expect him to catch that behind him. All right. Cedric Tillman across the middle for a 16 yard reception. That makes it first and 10. There we go, Leonard Whitehead out of the backfield for a 13-yard reception. It is Kentucky's defense is pretty stout. Their offense can suck a left nut, but defensively, they've, they've been pretty stout so far. Jesus. Calm down there, quarterback. <laughs> There's going to be fucking three other periods. You can hit them like that later. Third and five. Maybe someone will catch the ball for once. Who knows? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> He'll just run backwards with the ball. Even better. You love to see it. Oh my god! Uh, I had him open. I needed like a millisecond longer. All right, third and ten. We're right inside the red zone. Probably gonna end in a sack or a drop pass if I had to guess here. Yeah, there it is. Sweet, love it. All right, so we scored a touchdown on defense because they know how to do something at least. We're up seven against Kentucky. Bone coverage. Thank you for fucking catching the ball. Bayless Jones Jr., huge touchdown. And uh, not bad. Oh, no, apparently we scored a touchdown earlier. Oh, I bet the fucking computer went for it instead of kicking a field goal earlier. Either way, I don't really care. <laughs>
Oh lord. Like three sacks. The dude has three sacks and a half. Are you kidding me? We all just shift to the right and block this one guy that we can't block for some reason. Hit run. First down. There we go. Harrison Bailey, 14 yard rush. Uh, we're trying to get some points here before the end of the half. Alright, third and two. We're going to try to run it. First, uh, actually, never mind. We're going to pass it. If you want to bring the house? That's fine. I'll score a touchdown. Cedric Tillman, nine yard touchdown. And uh, we're going to go about three touchdowns just before the end of the half here. All right, facing a third and four right out of the half here. Uh, probably just going to hit the hodge, honestly. Open. Not. We're going to run for it. And throw it deep, actually. Bayless Jones Jr., big catch. 56-yard reception. Back to the end zone. Jimmy Calloway. 31 yard touchdown reception. It's four TDs for Harrison Bailey. Then a wide at a 15 yard reception. Mario Bayless Jones Jr. Now we got D back with though, across this middle. 20 yard reception, D back with. We, oh, okay. Oh, why is Jimmy Callaway in? He's been good. Oh, he's gonna get a rushing touchdown. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, Harrison Bailey's not hurt. Harrison Bailey is hurt, but it's only strained, uh, strained pack, I think it said. So it's only a few quarters. Uh, we can last a few quarters. We got a pretty sizable lead. Alright, well, we're gonna have punt, but that's alright. All right, so at the end of the three, we're up by 28 points against Kentucky. And uh, we have Jimmy Calloway in a quarterback also. That's always fun. Oh, shit. I was trying to throw it to B. I did a spin move and then fumbled it. Uh, they're going to return. Oh, they're going to be pretty close to a touchdown for sure. I was about to throw it across the line of scrimmage. So he did a spin move. Delonte Taylor is our quarterback now. Then with wide head, a seven yard rush up the middle. He's gonna move the first down chains. Oh, Delonte Taylor so close to a touchdown. Gonna get it down at like the two. That makes it first and goal. We got Jimmy Calloway back in. Jabari Small in the back for you. That's gonna be a touchdown, Jabari Small. Hey, we don't even we don't even need Harrison Bailey. Right, I realize what we need. We need a, a passing touchdown for Calloway. Then he'll have a receiving touchdown, a running, a rushing touchdown. And a uh, passing touchdown. There it is. Princeton Fant. The triple threat, Jimmy Callaway. Alright, I couldn't I couldn't find any stats on like a player getting a receiving touchdown, passing touchdown, and rushing touchdown in one game. But we can assume that it doesn't happen very often, and this is a special day for Jimmy Callaway as he Well, the ball goes out of bounds, never mind.
Well, let's say as we turn it over, but we don't. Somebody soccer kicked the ball out of bounds. Alright, so while we uh, are not in the SEC Championship, I thought it'd be interesting to see who is. Um, Florida versus Bama, so whoever wins this game is going to the college football playoff. And it looks like it's going to be Bama. Bama going to the, the playoff two years in a row. Miami or Louisville. That's a fun matchup. Louisville. Louisville going to the, their first playoff ever. Oregon versus USC. Oregon going to their playoff. Nebraska versus Michigan. Michigan. All right. Michigan going to their first playoff. And then we will see who won the Big 12 here. Um, I guess it was Kansas State. Oh, it's either Kansas State or West Virginia. I'm assuming Kansas State because they're on the top. But uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah, Syracuse. Okay, so we're going up against Syracuse in the Tax Slayer Bowl. The most riveted bowl. The coveted Tax Slayer Trophy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's look at uh, what the college football playoff is going to be. I'll put it up at the end here while I do the outro. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. In the next episode, we're going to be playing in the Tax Slayer Bowl, and then uh, we'll be doing the college football playoff, and then it'll be the off season, and uh, we'll get into year three. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. There's going to be more UT Vols Dynasty coming up. We also have a podcast channel, so we release weekly episodes at Tuesday at uh, 5 Eastern, 4 Central, uh, as well as clips throughout the week. We have some Madden content, some Call of Duty content. I say it every time. You guys know what to listen for. You know what it is. You're not new to YouTube, but we are a very small channel, so any subs, any likes, uh, we greatly appreciate because there aren't many of them. So you're kind of like getting in a grassroots, uh, grassroots organization here. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys who have already subbed and stuff, so... I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.